What is that noise? Not the bleepy noise, listen, listen. At this point, I don't actually know what to do, but there is absolutely no way am I not uploading this video. This is interesting, isn't it? A Mercedes truck, like, I know Mercedes make lorries, but they don't make trucks. You wouldn't expect them two words to go together. This is also a wide arch converted truck as well. It's a Mercedes X-Class X350D, which is like the highest model one. It's a V6 engine. I've never had one in stock before. I've never had one in my channel before. So this is quite an interesting video. It's a very good looking car, bar the, the, the bink of dust. Ignore that. Let's do the usual thing. Go for a little walk around, go for a drive in it, and then we'll do draggy signs later on in the video. Straight into it today, no cinematics, no intro scene, straight into the walk around. What a bloody cool car that is. What a wicked car, like 2019 in black, covered in a bit of brown bean dust because that's just standard up here. We actually cleaned this car last night and my golf car last night because I wanted to, you know, drive in a nice clean car because uh, I knew I was filming this today as well. And yeah, we're just fighting and losing battle up here. The dust is a joke. So this car here has just arrived as a bit of stock. I, I quite like trucks. I like the purpose that they serve. They're quite a good all rounder. You know, you can use it as a family car throw your tools in the back if you're like in the building trade or whatever it's a very versatile vehicle they've got good road presence they look good and this one in particular looks incredible obviously being black with the big wide arches the big black mercedes alloy wheels as well it just looks proper cool man so the guy this car come from is actually a friend of ours and he didn't actually do the work himself he's bought this car as it is today he likes nice stuff and he doesn't know much about the body kit now i just had a quick look online there are various companies online that that supply body kits like wide arch, wide arch body kits like this one for Mercedes X classes um, various kits I don't know exactly which one this is uh, but this is quite a cool kit I like the, the sort of studs the very bold studs around the arches there looks really really good it's also got the facelift grille on the front and I've just had a quick look online that seems to be quite a rare thing so I don't know if that's like a an eBay special grill. I don't know but it looks so bloody good you think this is someone's work vehicle that's what this is aimed at doing now I've had Navaras I've had Amro I've had all sorts of trucks on the channel before, uh, but never one of these. So the uh, the Mercedes X Class actually come out in 2017, so they're quite quite new. You know, they've been about a few years. And the X350 is a top-notch one. Look at this. Look, little side access. It's this box on the back, by the way, that is uh, not there from factory. You can, I think, it's pretty cool. Put all your tools in the back there. Back seats. Good old thing of dust. Look at that. It's a, it's a mess. Back seats there's never a crazy amount of room in the back of these cars i don't know why trucks just don't seem to have a crazy amount of room in the back you'd think they would have but they've got back seats with a bit of leg room and then in the front look at that mercedes and truck you just wouldn't combine the two normally but that is a lovely place to be proper nice interior it's an automatic gearbox as well and it's a car or a vehicle made for work pirelli tires what size are them tires by the way what size are they? Look at that dust, man. 275 50 20s. They do not look like 20 inch wheels at all. Like they are huge, don't get me wrong, but they don't look like 20s. If anything, they look quite lost on that massive car. So, well, mate, I'll let you wander right past. <laughs> Back to the visuals, uh, headlights are beautiful. It's wicked that they put this much effort into the visuals of a truck, like I absolutely rate that. That big nudge bar at the front there, I like that as well. Silver wing mirrors, the V6 turbo badge on the wing there. Everyone that's walked up to Binker and looked at this car today and said, oh, I like the look of that, that's nice, isn't it? Price, should we quickly talk about price? Yeah, what should we talk about price? Let's just say in the region of £40,000 plus VAT, that's how much this car is, is valued at today. So a lot of money, it's four wheel drive as well, and um, I've still, I'm still yet to drive it. So I think what we need to do, jump inside, go through specs if we can get them up on HPI, and then we'll go for a little drive and see how quickly it does 20 to 70 mile an hour. It's 250 horsepower, weighs 2.2 tonnes, so it ain't lightweight, um, but we may as well do it anyway. I am still very curious to see what it drives like anyway, so let's get on with it. my god it's like living in a bloody desert with the dust and the heat combined let me quickly start the engine fire up the big old v6 get that aircon on so quick hashtag key check for those that care about keys because i do um it's it's quite a cool key very sleek quite big like it ain't tiny, it might look tiny on camera there, but it ain't super small. Uh, interesting key, I like the look of that. Uh, there is a pair of them, it's got like a, a carbon fibre 
thing on top as well. Uh, this is actually the most powerful, or supposedly the most powerful truck ever made. But that's an interesting fact. Surely, like, surely the Americans make more powerful trucks. This is only 250 horsepower. I need to find out where I found that stat out. I'm going to do it right now. Here we go, Auto Express. The 350D comes with a 3 litre twin turbo diesel V6 engine that packs 254 brake horsepower, um, making it the most powerful pickup truck on sale, alongside the recently upgraded VW Amrock V6. Bloody hell. Well, there you go. Don't, don't moan at me if that's not true. Moan at Auto Express. So, uh, interior is is absolutely spot on like it's even got a stitched leverish dash which i think is really nice interior of this the interior quality of this car uh, compared to an amrock this is much better yeah i do sometimes criticize mercedes interiors i think they always look wonderful but sometimes finish quality isn't very good but this is a truck finish quality is far better than you could ever expect any truck to be so um it's certainly certainly getting credit from me it looks really good Got a toggly thing as well for the infotainment system, which I really like. That, that to me is so bloody important. Uh, so that's brilliant as well. It's got half leather seats with Alcantara in the middle. Is it? Is it real leather? Is it real Alcantara? I don't think so, but it looks really good. It feels good. And at the back, it's got this sort of handy little function. I don't know if you can see that through that camera. Um, you can open your little window there. That's wicked, isn't it? <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. So if you if you didn't have the big back on the back, then you'd be able to see all the way out the back through your little back window, all right? So uh, it's cool that it's got an automatic gearbox as well. I think a lot of people, you know, driving one of these things would love that. And what is also quite cool, because behind me in my mirror, you can't quite see it there, is a Land Rover Discovery commercial vehicle, right? It literally looks like a five-door Discovery. A uh, very cool car. That's actually my, my brother's car. He's a plumber. He bought that as his daily driver stroke work car. And um, I don't know where I, why, what just triggered me to start this. Oh yeah, he has a Range Rover Sport as his daily driver. He bought that as a combination and decided didn't like it, to be honest with you. So it's not really gonna help back up the point that I'm about to make. Uh, but this car here definitely doubles up because it's got the road presence, it's got the looks, and it has got an automatic gearbox. It's got the luxuries and the, the stuff that you'd want in your daily driving car. And then it's got the ability to be a truck. Maybe he should con consider this over that. Um, that's a lot less money to this though, so maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts if you're in for a, 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 one of them people looking for a commercial vehicle that you can daily drive. Have you looked at these? Have you looked at them? Uh, so let's quickly do a HPR on this car and see um, what the specs, spec list is saying on it, yeah? Here we go then, PO19ZBH is the Mercedes-Benz X350 Power, all right? Uh, five, registers, five registers are clear, so it's all h clear, which is good. Um, the power, formatic, auto, diesel, pickup truck with a seven-speed automatic gearbox, two former keepers in black, we know all of that. Three litre diesel engine, all right? So come out of that, go into spec check. Unfortunately, there is no spec check for this car, which is a bit annoying, but I can tell you, what can I tell you about it? It's looking like it's got it's got sat nav, it's got DAB radio, and if I click it in reverse, let's see. Oh, 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 turn it off. The controls are down here, which I don't know I just mentioned, but they are down here, which is what every bloody manufacturer needs to do. Take note, it's so much better when you've got your elbow on the armrest and the uh, your hand is here, it's just natural. The screen is there. I don't wanna I don't wanna lean forward, take my eyes off the road and touch the screen. It's not it's nice, it's a nice feature, but it's not necessary, right? So yeah, down here, just turn the volume down using this little thing here, which is unbelievable with any car, especially to see that in a truck. Uh, but what I was gonna say is yeah, it's got sat nav and we went to click it in reverse to see if it's got a reverse camera, and the answer to that question is Yes, it does have a reverse camera. Now let me tell you, if you do buy a truck, try to get your truck with at least re reverse sensors, yeah? Because they're a big thing to drive. Like, I'm a good driver. I'm obviously the best driver on the planet, actually, because, you know, that's what we all think of ourselves. And uh, I, even I get into a truck sometimes and think, do you know what, this, this is a big old thing to drive. So reverse cameras are not a must, but parking sensors are definitely a must, all right? Big old transit vans just putting out now, the biggest, is this? Gonna try and, you want to get in? You want to get in? Don't you? Yeah, of course you want to get in. Of course you want to get in. Let me just stop that screen recording because that's one second. I'll get out of your way. There we go. Just like, I'm not doing a video on nothing. Ah, oh, and then the M135 I just pulled up in the background there uh, because it would do, wouldn't it? I didn't do a video on that car, by the way, because I've done loads of M135 I content. There's Kai and my missus as well. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you soon. 
school holidays, Kai pops up. Do you know what, Auto Express, you know I mentioned them earlier. If, if anyone from Auto Express is watching this and they want to give me a job of reviewing cars, I could just solely, if I could just solely focus on only reviewing cars, that would be good. But when you, you know, you're doing a business, and you got loads of other crazy stuff happening, it's quite difficult, man. Customers, you know, customers are important, aren't they? And, do you know what I thought about doing? <laughs> Going massively off tracks now. I thought about doing it, because I've got like people just queuing up to get into Binka, because that's, you know, that's part of my day. Um, what I thought about doing was just doing like a track show, like a car track show, and I could just, we could just sit there and talk about cars all day. Cat Black Book Live, that's the only valuation system giving me a valuation for this car currently, because that would be the case in this video, because for some reason Auto Trader is not giving me a valuation, but according to Cat, the, the retail value of this car is £34,750. Obviously, with the, the, like the spouse, as I expect, with the kit that this particular one has got, it's valued at higher than, higher than that. We've got it advertised for about £38,000 plus VAT, okay? Uh, VAT is an absolute killer if you are not VAT registered, but of course, if you are VAT registered, you can claim the VAT back. So I think what we need to do now is get out of everyone's way. Not that I'm in anyone's way, but they need to get out of my way because I want to hit the road. I want to see what this drives like because I've never driven one before. And I want to see how quickly it's going to be on draggy times because I feel like it could be quite quick. Yeah, this is the most powerful truck ever made on the planet, apparently. Apparently, it is anyway. Right. We are off. Oh my God, it is quick, man. It is, it's very quick. I suppose it would be. Diesel, two turbos, big pile of horse poo in the road there. Not even bothered, just completely flattened it in my big truck with my big tires and yeah, no messing around. Now that, that bleeping noise is actually the door. It's telling me the door's open, but the door, I'm telling you, trust me, Mercedes, the door is closed. It's, I'm, I promise you it's closed, but you're still telling me it's open. 2019 Mercedes telling me my door's open. And I know I'm right. That door's open. No, it's closed even. It's closed, you know what I mean? I can't even get my words right today. But yeah, performance wise, it is absolutely wonderful, man. And you feel like the man on the road. Oh, there's another pile of horse poop. No messing around, straight over the top of it. Don't care, because I'm in a big, fat, big power truck. Oh, as you get go to the um, near to the white lines in the middle of the road, the steering wheel sort of vibrates a little bit to tell you that you're near a white line, in case you wanted to know that. So it's got like a lane assist function on it, which is quite cool. In fact, you can turn it off, which I'm gonna do. Uh, gonna go right up the bouncy, bouncy road, the bouncy, bumpy road, shall I say. And here we go. It's made for it, isn't it? The door ain't made for it though, because it's just telling me constantly that Every bump I hit, this reminded me that the door, but, but the door is, it's like literally blinking at me. Door, 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 door. I don't know what I'm gonna do. How can I tell, how can I turn that off? It's not gonna be possible to turn it off because this video was never meant to happen, was it? Should we just talk about something completely different? Because this car, you know, this whole video has just been an absolute shambles, isn't it? <laughs> I get to experience driving a truck though, so I'm quite happy. Should we see what the MPG is saying? Because that would be interesting to know. If I was buying one of these, I would want to know. But of course, I can't do that because there's a big image of a truck in front of me telling me that, um, that my door's open. Should I pull over and just pull my bloody hair out? Should I do that? At this point, I don't actually know what to do, but there was absolutely no way am I not uploading this video because of a door are supposedly being open. Is there anything obvious? Should I try to have a look? There might be something obvious. It's it's powerful. I'll tell you it's powerful, right? It's the music. The music's playing now, isn't it? It's got heated seats, by the way. Heated seats, they're electric as well, look. You wouldn't expect to see that in a truck, would you? It looks good as well, doesn't it? Big arches, black, finger dust all over it. Let's just do draggy times, yeah? What is that noise? It's not the bleepy noise, listen, listen. Oh, I know what that is, no way. When you stop, 
the side steps fold down. Then I drive off. They come up a bit like airplane wheels. You know airplane wheels? This is exactly like airplane wheels, guys. In three, two, one, go! Door closed, mirrors in. There they go. And side steps in. There we go! That went to plan. That wasn't bad at all. Let's go down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. um Right, so the fastest dragging time that I've done of all three was 8.58 seconds, which isn't that great at all. But what is really strange, I say it a lot, all the bloody time, in fact, about diesel, they, diesels, they feel so fast compared to the times that they make. This feels very quick. I'm not even joking. This feels bloody quick. And in fairness to this truck, or this day, <laughs> this, this was just not meant to happen today. Like, this is an amazing truck. It drives really well. It's been brilliant bar the little annoying bleeping noise it's making from the door and it's fast but the times it's done on the dragon leaderboard it's almost identical to a focus is that right a focus st170 uh, and my audi a5 the planet of dreams car when it was stock but it is ironically you know why i referenced the uh or compared it the the sound of the side steps is it gonna do that again no because we we're idle to a jumbo jet earlier yeah well this is faster than a jumbo jet from 20 to 70 mile an hour. Jumbo jet does it in 8.66 seconds, as I discovered when I went on holiday a few months back, all right? So faster than a jumbo jet, faster than an ST170 Focus, and it feels bloody quick. So let's just hit back the road, hit, hit the road again quickly. Today's experience didn't go quite as I wish it would, all right? So we may as well laugh about it. Feel free to just attack me in the comments below, um, but yeah. Gonna just say bye, I think. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Just, just think, I was literally, as I went there, I was just thinking about a title for this video. Maybe uh, something like this video was an absolute disaster, or my disastrous experience with a Mercedes X Class, or um, I should never have filmed this bloody video, uh, something like that. It's gonna be a dramatic title though, it's gotta be, has to be. This is YouTube, man. If you want to see more car content, check this video out here.